Okay, what I've done so far is um, reglued the next part of the frame, this one here. Um, I did it like I did this one. Um, I used MEK for making the stuff a little bit liquid and then pressing it together. And now it has to dry. I let it dry here for the rest of the day. And then I see if I can re glue um, the part from the arms back tomorrow. Uh, let's say tomorrow. Okay, I have started to re glue back the back knob. And the f frame part for sealing it together. Um, and I have started with uh, this little nub here. It was broken in the middle. Um, I also repaired it, glued it together again with MEK. Um, I have started um, to put this little thingy here, in here. And now I'm going to let the stuff dry and see what we get. The whole stuff has dried overnight and now I'm going to um, put the next arm pin back here. This is my next goal to do this. Um, this one has dried in the meantime and now we are going to do this. Um, it is broken smoothly so that, it, that it's no problem to reattach this stuff again. And I'm probably doing this here, yep, today. Okay guys, I have re-glued this part and the part from the arm there. And um, I have uh, glued our string a little bit at the beginning because we are going to need it later. Um, what I'm not sure about is uh, where this little piece belongs. I thought it would fit here, but obviously it's not the case. So I, um, yeah, I'm going to try to find out where it really belongs. As you can see, I have already um, put three of the four. Um, yeah, anyway, this these things back on the doll, and the last thing is missing. But before I'm doing the last thing, because it it seems that a teeny tiny um, part of it has disappeared, I'm going to make um, a mold with this stuff. It's um, something I found in the last weeks. Uh, that's kind of plastic and you can form it in any way you like. As you see the um, white stuff, uh, that's our plastic, um, already has started to become hard again, to harden out. Um, yeah, that's what I use for making the little mold. I just want to check if I have all parts to um, reassemble the other arm correctly um, and I don't want any mistakes to happen while doing it. I think I have the right idea now what to do with the arm hole. Um, I think I'm going to re-glue this and this was already on there. Since it was already broken, it was not really well attached. So I'm going to start um, to reattach this and I'm going to let it dry. And I have an idea what I can use um, to replace the missing part. Um, yeah, let's see if it works. Here is the result um, so far. Um, and now it has to dry for several hours again. Today, today is the next day of our repairing that video 
for the talking doll and I just reattached the last piece of the arm that I have um, you can see it in the front there is still a little part missing and I'm going to remodel that later but at first um, the thing has to dry now I have um, put a piece of plastic between the two arm knobs to separate um, them I don't want um, that they are glued together later on yeah and I'm back later when this is dry as a step in between I inserted the little piece of plastic as you can see and I melted it a bit together but it's not perfect yet um, because it has to dry and then I have to reform a little bit of it because it's still too long it goes over the arm and I have to do that probably tomorrow it has to dry now and uh, I'm gonna see you again tomorrow My dear fellow collectors, we made it so far. Okay, the arm. The thing for the arm is in place again on both sides. I was able to recreate was what, what was missing here. And um, it lasted several days. I needed approximately one week to make this thing uh, look like an arm knob again. Um, you know the stuff needs always a lot of time to dry that's why I needed so much time and I was already also working um, in the meantime and I was away and had appointments but um, today I have time and I'm going to re-glue the whole body back in a second um, yeah and that's our final step that we are going to reseal the body again 